Hi dolls, my name is Bethany Herway and I'm the Glamorous Housewife. As you can see, I have the whole kitchen nook decorated for Valentine's Day. Today, I thought I'd teach you how to make the felt heart garland that you can see on the windows behind me. Should we get started? Here's a list of items you're going to need to get this project started. First, you're going to need some felt. This started out white and then I dyed it pink using RIT dye and then I let it dry. Next, you're going to need a heart-shaped stencil. I made this using just some cardboard, some thin cardboard. I basically eyed it, cut it out, and I used this to trace my shapes. I like using a white Prismacolor pencil because it doesn't show up if you cut it. If you use a regular number two pencil, you still might see the dark lines after you've cut out your shape. Finally, a really good pair of scissors. The first thing you're going to do is trace your hearts onto the felt using your pencil and your heart-shaped stencil. I managed to get five hearts out of one piece of felt. Once you're done tracing all the lines, all you, next you cut out the heart shape. You probably can't see the line that I'm following because it's too faint, which is actually a good thing because if you don't cut it perfectly, you won't be able to see the pencil mark. There we go, all done. I have here a whole bunch that I've already cut out. Now I'm gonna show you how to sew them up. Once you have your hearts cut out, it's time to sew them up. I start with a nice long tail at the beginning because that's what you're gonna use to hang them up. I purposefully use a red thread so that you'll be able to see the line as I sew it. When I did it originally, I had both the white bobbin thread and the white upper thread. Let's start. So I start with the first part, put it down, and just start sewing a straight line from top to bottom. When I got to the tip of the heart, all I did was continue to press on the foot the amount of distance I wanted between the two hearts, which spins the thread, and then get started with the next heart. Let me show you. See, I don't know if you can see right here, but the, the two threads have wrapped around each other. And then, I just start with the next heart. create the garland is like this. Again, make sure you have plenty of strength at the beginning, but this time we're going to sew across this way to create more of a swag garland. When I get to the end, remember, I pull on it for the leg that I want between the two hearts, very gently. follow it with the next heart. At the end, whether you're going vertically or horizontally, just pull it out. Well, if you're doing it this way, you want to pull it out to make sure there's enough string and snip. See? Isn't that cute? And if you're doing it in white, you couldn't see the red thread. This way, all I did was I just snipped the thread right at the end to create the last heart. Once you're done sewing all of your hearts, now you get to decorate. I decided to hang mine vertically along the windows to create sort of a heart-shaped curtain, if you will. I like the way that they sort of turn in the breeze, don't you? And that, dolls, is how you make your own felt heart-shaped garland. Are you going to be inspired to try it? Let me know on Facebook or on my blog, theglamoroushousewife.com. Inspiration for living.